Pink Floyd's co-founder and guitarist Roger Waters has been accused of anti-Semitism by people who have worked alongside him in an explosive new documentary. In one clip, his saxophonist remembers an incident in a restaurant. This dish comes and Roger kind of pushes it with his arm and he goes, that's it, that's it, where's the meat, where's the meat? That's, what's, what's, what's with this? This is Jew food, what's with the Jew food? Take away the Jew food! And I'm just sitting there, oh boy, I don't, you know. The 80-year-olds come under fire in the past for making inflammatory remarks about Jewish people, but Waters, who left the band in 1985, has always denied being anti-Semitic. Joining me in the studio, Gideon Falter, the chairman of the campaign against anti-Semitism. Hello, good to see you, Gideon, thanks for coming. And it's the organisation that made the documentary. Um, can you explain a little of the history of Roger Waters? Because lots of people, huge fans of Pink Floyd, just think, well, he's been a fantastic musician and has contributed so much to the canon of music that we love, and can he put possibly have done anything that isn't entirely magnificent at all times. And, and I think that's one of the things that has made it um, so difficult for anybody to actually do anything about his anti-Semitism mm -hmm. and the way that he expresses himself about Jews and Jewish issues. He's managed to get away with it because his artistry, undeniably Pink Floyd frontman, um, until obviously the band broke up and then he <coughs> carried on on his own since then. Mm -hmm. and. The Jewish world has been saying for a very long time, look at what he says and does. So, for example, he used to fly a, an inflatable pig above his concerts with a big Star of David on it, um, amongst other symbols. He's, you know, said that there's a whole Jewish lobby in the music industry. Um, he said that various politicians are, you know, in hock to, uh, to, to Tel Aviv or Zionists or Jewish interests, etc. And... When you take all of this together and you take the fact that Jews have really been saying for a very long time, this person has got a problem, no one's wanted to listen. So when we actually went behind the scenes with this documentary, we were both shocked by what we saw, but also in certain ways <coughs> unsurprised. Yes, and what did you see? Well, we spoke to people from his past. So you've just seen Norbert Stachel, who, by the way, is an absolutely lovely guy and very talented saxophonist. And one of the things that is so hard about listening to Norbert is that he is just a lovely guy. He has no personal animus or axe to grind. And you see him telling us, for example, that Roger Waters starts inquiring about his family background. And Stachel basically says, yes, well, part of my family was wiped out in the Holocaust. I never met my grandparents on one side of the family. And Roger Waters apparently says to him, well, I'm actually very good at impressions. I'm going to make you meet your part of your family that was wiped out in the Holocaust. I'm going to do an imitation of your grandmother. And then proceeds to do this really derogatory, nasty, bullying, pretty disgusting imitation of what he would imagine to be, you know, some, some you know, lowest of the low, uh, you know, peasant person in his view. And at the end of it, he turns back to Norbert and he says, so now you've met your dead grandmother, how do you feel? Oh, my goodness. I mean, that is, that is absolutely beyond the realms of imagination, isn't it? When somebody says, well, my grandmother died in the Holocaust, was wiped out by Hitler and the Nazis, and you say, well, let me do an impression of your dead grandmother who I've never met. That's absolutely revolting. Now, people will know that Roger Waters, of course, denies being anti-Semitic and says instead he has very severe issues with Israel and Israeli foreign policy. I think anybody with half a brain will know that that's a very common um, shield to hide anti-Semitism behind. You pretend that what you're really against is Israel's foreign policy, but really what you're really against is Jewish people and a Jewish state and Jews in general. So what makes you sure that Roger Waters is an anti-Semite rather than simply a critic of Israel? I'll give you two really good examples. One, we actually were given an email from Roger Waters himself to his production team. And in this email, he instructs them to make the pig and he says, in we, one of the things I want written on the pig is dirty and then the K word for Jews, which yes. I'm not going to say, no, but of course not. really disgusting. I'm hoping some slur. people won't actually know that word. I, I'm, I'm hoping so too. I'm hoping but they might not, but it's the most seen word his, you can use about a Jew. Flying above his audiences, he wanted that emblazoned on a pig. Wow. Another thing is Bob Ezrin, who's really a legend in the music industry, and again, somebody who admits in the, in the documentary. You know, he loves Roger, he loves his music, 
but he recounts an episode in which Roger's singing a song about the agent for Pink Floyd at the time, a guy called Brian Morrison, who's since passed away. And he sings him a little impromptu ditty about Brian Morrison, the last line of which is, because Maury is an effing Jew. <laughs>